IELTS Speaking Part 3 Topic Visiting Question 1. Do Vietnamese people like to visit other people's homes? Rarely do acquaintances or co-workers visit each other's house, but relatives or best friends certainly do, because we Vietnamese view it as a way to strengthen the bond among relatives and friends. In fact, it's an excellent way for relatives to connect on a deeper level, especially during bonding occasions like Tet Holiday. Also, close friends usually have meetups at one's place, for some catching up, or just chilling together and having a good time. To me personally, if I'm invited to a person's place, they have considered me a significant part of their life. Question 2. What do Vietnamese people do when they visit other people's homes? Well, if it's a recently bought house, people definitely would buy some gifts for a housewarming party, ranging from household appliances such as saucepans, microwaves to food like fruits or sweets. On other casual occasions like weekend get-togethers, people would typically cook a meal together and chit-chat about what's going on in their life. Moms and dads would talk about their children, and for young people, they would come up with some fun games to spice the meeting up. Question 3. What's the difference between homes in cities and those in the countryside? There are certainly a number of striking differences between the two. First, when it comes to convenience, living in cities definitely fares better than in the countryside. There is a wide range of modern facilities like public transport, well-maintained infrastructure or welfare services like international schools and first-class hospitals in the city. These amenities may not be exclusive to city dwellers, country folks also have access to those things, but they are not of the same standard. However, this doesn't mean that it is a disadvantage to living in rural areas. I think life in the countryside would be less competitive than in cities. People don't have to work all around the clock to gain a competitive edge to climb the career ladder. Instead, most just take it easy going about their day. And that's a perk that city residents may desire. This concludes IELTS Speaking Part 3. Thank you for listening.